The Dallas Cowboys present These Boots Are Made for Talking, the official podcast of the Dallas Cowboys Cheerleaders. Now, your hosts, Courtney McKenna and Shannon Gross. I was just waiting for that. What's up? I'm, gonna, I'm letting you start the show off. That's Why? I'm heck just... of a way to start it, Courtney. Now, that's how he always goes. What's up, everybody? I don't know what else <laughs> to say, man. How Hello, are you? Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Welcome Hello. in. How are you, Courtney? Great. How are you? I'm wonderful. TGIT. Yeah. Woo. Well, we have two guests on the show that have been on here before. But oh, we love them. Oh, yeah. We do. Gabby hey. <laughs> and Alexis. How are you? How's it going? Good, I'm just good. trying to make this show as awkward as possible today. I was I, very I, I don't know why. I don't <laughs> right. know why. So what's been happening? How long has it been since y'all been on? I think I was on like right before Christmas, like okay. Thanksgiving Christmas-ish time. A few months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. mine was a couple months ago too. Yeah, Christina. Too? Okay. Mm -hmm. A lot of things didn't change in a couple months. Yeah, what's the That's biggest, true. what's the biggest change in your life since, let's say, Thanksgiving? Mm. Off season. Uh, I was going to say that. <laughs> Actually, have free time. They have lives a little yeah. bit. I little mean, bit. we still have appearances and mm -hmm. Technique Tuesdays, which are really fun. Mm -hmm. What is Technique Tuesday? Explain to the people that don't know what that is. <laughs> so Technique Tuesday, we come every Tuesday just to stay dancing and stay in shape and all that good stuff. Um, they bring in really awesome choreographers, and we can just have fun and learn a cool combo mm -hmm. and. Get a good workout in. Yeah. Nice yeah. sweat. Just to stay active. Mm -hmm. Right. Is that something y'all yeah. have to Keep pay? up on their dance skills. Do you have to oh, pay yeah. for that or is it free? Uh -uh, it's free. Mm -hmm. It's free. Oh. Well, can I go? Can, can anyone join or is <laughs> Come it on DCC? In. This is only? just DCC. Oh, okay. This is team. Team. Mm -hmm. Team, team stuff. technique. Just team, yeah. But you guys are feel like are obsessed with it. Every Tuesday night, I see, oh my God, Tuesday is my new favorite day of the week. It's oh my so God. Fun. It's so fun. I think it's just because during season, like, we're just practicing our own dances, and now when these people come in, it's just a different style and a different way to like just keep up dancing, and so it's fun. Let me ask you this. I've always wondered this. So as a dancer, because mm -hmm. I am not, I I can what? move, I can move, but I'm not a dancer. <laughs> it are there different styles that you can't, you just can't get down, or like if you can dance, you can adapt to pretty much any style. Honestly, it depends. I think that certain dancers have their strong their strong genres mm -hmm. and then some people are just great and they can do everything like I personally really like hip-hop um, but I also like contemporary and jazz mm -hmm. but I'm not as good as at I'm not I'm not as good as like mo at modern mm -hmm. do you like modern no I I'm used to when I was younger but not right now but like modern I'm yeah. not good at Quirky contemporary is hard for me. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's just it's quirky kinda, contemporary. Yeah. What does that even it's mean? It's a new thing. It really is. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can't tap. I, oh yeah, I'm not good at I'm tapping. Not, I'm not a tapper. Amy's really good at yeah. tapping. Oh yeah. She always taps in her solos. It's really cool. Love the bus yeah. tapping. It is. It's like a cool skill to have. I just never picked up on it. So, but I wish I did. But me too. I used to do point too. Ooh, oh, I think that's that. another story. Yeah. Is that where you stand up on your mm -hmm. toe? It hurts. It, it like breaks your toes and stuff. It's so doesn't bad. It? Yeah. I would take my shoes off and my toes would be bleeding. Yeah, it like jacks your feet up, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Bad. Oh, a little bit. Let's still talk about bloody feet. <laughs> Sometimes I think I'm like doing these things and I'm like, no, I'm literally not on my toes. I'm just <laughs> standing up higher. Yeah. It, oh, it hurts. It hurts. You did it too? Mm -hmm. You have to like yeah, get fitted and years. you have to put these pads gummy things mm -hmm. in the shoe on your toe that just doesn't why that doesn't sound like fun at all like why no, would you even I'm be like that's sure. a great idea it's i just want to do that when it's done correctly like if mm -hmm. you see yeah. like new york city ballet do it and all of those people do it it's great but when you're the one actually you're the one doing, doing it, it's not, the it. Yeah. not that great <laughs> is there a point where your feet stop bleeding or is you know i didn't time? wait long enough to see i should have um, i did that was one of the like i said was one of the styles that i wasn't as I didn't love it as much, so. Not as fond of? Not as fond. So what has happened What has happened since y'all were on the show last year? Been a few months. Like, anything mm. exciting? Anybody get a puppy or? <gasps> she got a puppy. You got a puppy? I got a puppy. Josie. What did you get? I got a golden doodle. Hypoallergenic, so right? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yep. Her name is Josie. Cute. She doesn't look super curly. I know. And I don't know. I would have never guessed a doodle. I would just said I would have just guessed golden. She looks like a golden retriever right now. She has like little curls in her ears. But she's not shedding but you know at what? all. Her, 
No. That's all that matters. Like, she'll sit on me when I have black leggings on, and I'm like, praise the Lord. <laughs> she grows really fast, too. Every yeah. time I see her, I see her, like, every other day. And so... Literally everyone on the team is like, I need to come see your puppy. I need to come see your puppy. And I've had... I feel like everyone comes over every day. I'm like, are y'all coming me. to see me or the dog? The dog. The dog. No, yeah. the dog. The dog. Yeah. <laughs> I hate to break it to you. Yeah. No, I literally... <laughs> I'm like, when am I coming to see the dog? Like, <laughs> so literally, what, that's been everyone's subject in their text messages. Well, me. you're so busy during the season. Who's going to take care of the puppy? You it know, won't be a puppy then. She won't be a puppy then. She's she's really um, good in her crate. Oh, she is? She likes it a lot. So. Okay. A crate trained her. Oh, how old is she? She is four months as of yesterday. Oh, so she's like a new puppy. Yeah, she's a baby. The baby. Oh. She's We're so st- cute. Do you have Thanks. a picture of her on your Instagram? I'll look. I do. We're still, she uh, has her own story. We're still working on potty training, though. Yeah? <laughs> mm-hmm. Wait, you don't have a post of her. You just have... No, I do. It's on the... Go to my stories. Yeah. It was her like, highlight there's reel. There's no official. highlight reel. <laughs> I know. I, I need a post her highlight pop. reel. Oh, I would come see her too. Right? Yeah. She's yeah. so cute. I would She's go, really I would, sweet. I would go see her. She's a cuddle bug too. Yeah. That's literally what you're. S- I let her sleep. In, I bug. let her sleep in bed with me. I'm bad. No. And I know. She she's good though. She sleeps the whole night, but she wakes up every morning at 8 a.m. It's weird. Really? It's like my own little personal alarm clock. Yeah. That's good. Don't even like, I don't even week. need to set an alarm. Yeah. I know she's gonna wake me up at eight. <laughs> but on the weekends, hmm. the weekends are rough. Yeah, I'm like. This is the one day I get to sleep in. Get off me. Yeah, 8 a.m. What about you? Any puppies in your life? No puppy. No? Any, any I, life I feel changes? Like having a puppy is like having a kid. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I, I just, I don't know if I'm ready for that step. I'm now. out. I'm out. So <laughs> The first week I was like, I think I might have to ask my parents if they want another dog. Because <laughs> it was it was hard. Because I live in an apartment. So, mm-hmm. and I'm on the second floor. So they have to go out four to five times yeah. a day when they're little. It was rough the first couple of weeks. So my one of my best friends, I went to see, I went to see her uh, yesterday. Actually, she lives in Kansas City, and she just side note, he didn't tell anyone what <laughs> that you were going to Kansas City. Uh, told everyone I was not going to be in the office. No, you didn't. We all just went down to our ten o'clock meeting. And we were like, "Where's Shannon?" <laughs> no, that's not that's false. Dana knew. Y'all all knew. I told y'all in our brainstorm meeting on Tuesday. Were you there? Yes. I don't recall. I told you I was leaving early and I wasn't going to be here Wednesday and I'd be back you Thursday. You did say that. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're lying, Will. Uh, Start paying Will. attention. Nobody else remembered Pre- then, just oh, Will. Presley's not in there. She could testify to. Anyway, I went to see my friend and her parents, they had two huge bulldogs. Oh, wow. Those and are cute. they both passed away within like the last oh, six no. months. So they wanted a new puppy, but they didn't want to deal with the puppy stage. Yep. Mm. So my friend was like, you know what? I will, if you buy the dog, it's like a $4,000 dog. If you buy the dog, I will keep it. Yeah, I'll keep it until it's out of the puppy phase. So she's been raising this puppy. You can rescue, too. Yeah, rescuing Mm -hmm. is good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, they bought it. So (laughs) So I got to play with the little bulldog puppy for for the last day. They're so cute. Oh, she was so awesome. She was just this little fat rolly mess like rolls oh, everywhere oh, just no. <laughs> slobbery oh, yeah. exactly oh, why i'm yeah. not interested slobber i don't yeah I don't she know she hadn't they're slobbered cute, though she they're wasn't cute to look at they're cute to look at they she are. was super cute so yeah mm-hmm. so i got to play with a puppy so, love it yeah I love, I love mm-hmm. that. so what else has been going on anything fun any exciting news what what just she, fill us in. She just She's got baptized. Got a, oh, yeah. Ooh. Big day. Alexis, that's yeah. huge. I know. Tell us about that. Tell well, us how I, that all ha- how that all happened, because okay. that's like a process, right? Right. So I, I got christened when I was a baby, mm-hmm. um, non-denominational. Um, but I don't know. Like I, I, I started um, going to this church called Shoreline City in Dallas, mm-hmm. and I just got really plugged in there, and they do baptisms every couple months, and... I went through, her and I both went through this thing called growth track, just basically becoming a leader at the church and serving and all that good stuff. So mm-hmm. um, p- part of that is they'll 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 be like, you should get baptized. So I, I realized, I was like, you know, I got Kristen when I was a little baby, but I haven't mm-hmm. gotten baptized yet. And um, neither did, I have twin sisters and neither did, they had neither. Um, so we all three did it together. And Gabby was there. Very was cool. There. You were there? I was yeah. videoing. I was like the little stage mom. Yeah. But her mom was there too. And yeah, so it was, was good. It was That's a nice little super celebration. awesome. How many people were there to, was it like a private deal or is it like open to the church or? No, yeah, it's open. So they, um, they have this big tub in the front, mm-hmm. kind of like the lobby area. 
it was inside obviously because it's cold yeah and yeah they were they had a bunch of people i think 60 yeah. people got they baptized. said over 60 people oh wow baptized. how big's the church people. it's pretty big it's not like a mega church like mm -hmm. um gateway or watermark but it's pretty big i know they have they um, have two more like new locations now so yeah they opened up the they Dallas have one area. in antigua they have one in um, bishop arts they're opening one here in frisco mm -hmm. and um, they have their main one in white rock mm -hmm. which is the one i go to well awesome congratulations Thank that's you. a big deal thanks that's very cool thanks. well yeah. <laughs> that was so sweet hey there we go <laughs> there we go so tell us about this was your first year right mm -hmm. and this was your second year right it was so what what did you learn tell us a couple of things you learned in your first year let's start with you Ooh, Gabby. this is fun oh what did wow. you learn yeah what i learned a lot tell us well either go one of two ways either yeah. tell us what you learned or what something different than your expectation yeah expectation mm -hmm. going in versus reality hashtag expectation right. versus reality yes. okay yes Ooh. swipe swipe I I think the year beat my expectations, but I didn't know going into the year just how stressful it would be being away from family and just trying to full on adult, I guess one would say, just because <laughs> I just starts. graduated from college. Mm -hmm. And so right from college, I went straight to training camp. And so training camp was my life for three months. And then August rolls around and I was like, oh, I need to get a job and I need to do That's adulting and yeah. time manage more and all of that. And so it's definitely it was a little bit overwhelming in the beginning but once i'm i'm a really big planner i have like my planner and everything mm -hmm. and so like once i kind of slowly tried to figure out how to just manage my time like not with a set school schedule but with jobs and dcc and appearances and doing other things and doing extracurriculars that i wouldn't do so it was definitely a lot and trying to explore dallas at the same time just mm -hmm. Cause I'm brand new here. So yeah. Where are you from? Illinois, Illinois, okay. Chicago area. Yeah. And so, yeah. And now I'm here. It flew by so fast. Like it was so people fast. were talking about auditions already. And I was like, I just made the team yesterday. Don't talk about auditions <laughs> I feel like I made the team yesterday. Yeah, so I'm just like, I've been here for two years. Hey, life comes at you fast. It does. It and it keeps getting faster. I feel like it's Time not slowing down. Fun. Yeah. Hey. Except January was so slow. February is fast. We're done. As of today. <laughs> That's so crazy to think about. It's, it's the 28th. It's like wow. tomorrow is the first. And we still have to pay a full month's rent. <laughs> you get sh oh, cheated by three uh, days. Right. <laughs> I don't remember to do that. It's terrible. Yeah, I got my email tomorrow. this morning. I was like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, Reminder. <laughs> so the biggest thing for you was time management. Time management. Trying, trying, to, trying to adult, I guess. Balance. Just balance. Real life. Because yeah. it, it really hits you. And so. I can't just, even imagine. I'm from here so yeah what was a big what was the biggest difference for you in year two than year one and everybody typically says you know what to expect so don't give us that boring answer All right. come up yeah. with something creative <laughs> well i mean Rack that's obviously brain. the main thing but i think that when you know what to expect you can just enjoy it more mm -hmm. so i mean we we learned all those routines you you know you mm -hmm. learn you go into training camp and you learn all these routines like 50 routines, mm -hmm. um, including tags and all that stuff. And so once you kind of know the style and you're comfortable, you can go to practice and just, you know, obviously you're focused and you're we're working hard, but it's also just fun to enjoy being with your friends. And yeah. we laugh and practice and have so much fun. Like literally I the other day, it was at like eight o'clock on a Thursday. And I was like, I kind of wish I was at practice right now, just cause I don't know, she was in my group too. So we just Dance kept each other all season. We group just kept three, each other holla. laughing. All the time. Who's who's y'all's group leader? Amy. Amy. It was a good group. And Tess is our second. Someone, it was, it's a funny group. Like yeah. we we all love to laugh. Someone left a because we Courtney post every nice little comment. Yeah, some, Ooh. Courtney post. Are you looking for? Because I know who it was. On the cheer, I do too. <laughs> okay. I was going to read it word for <laughs> okay, word. Okay, you though. can read it word for word. But Courtney post uh, who's going to be on the show every. Thursday and we asked for comments. So if you're out there, go post on Instagram, give Leave us some comments. comments, but someone, we won't name them, <clears throat> but they wanted to know who is y'all's favorite person to dance next to at the games. Can you guess who made that comment? Who asked that. that comment? No, it was in between us in our group or mm -hmm. just in general. Oh. Um, it says who is y'all's favorite person to dance to ne dance next to at the games. Juan, you got this. They're in your group. Well, okay. We stand next to each other at the game. Okay. But I stand next to Ashley. Oh, Ashley, me. Oh, Jess. Yes. Oh, yes. Jess. I stand next to Jess in the two lines, but 
Okay. In one line, I stood next to Ashley. Okay. Yeah. But I love dancing next to both of them. So shout out to Jess. Shout Hi, out to Jess. Jess. We love, love you, Jessie. Jess. Yes. Her nickname is Meg. Meg? <laughs> How does that make I've sense? never heard that. <laughs> I don't know why. We just call each other Meg. It's really weird. Oh, you, from the movie. Each of you are Meg. Yeah. You call each other Meg? Literally, like, I, I don't even call her Jess. I'm like, hey, Meg. <laughs> what, Isn't that weird? What movie? Isn't that... Isn't that in a movie? It's that Meg the 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 shark movie. The shark. Oh, Megalodon. The Megalodon. We both love sharks. That movie. So I, I didn't see that movie. I didn't see it. So true story. When I was a kid, my grandfather. This is back when you had to go to the library to check out books. Oh, you had to go, still the, go to the. I used to have a library yeah. card. Did you? Yeah. Who goes to the library? When's the last time I mean, you go to the library? I don't anymore. I don't. College. Well, actually, I did in college. Lexi on the cheerleading team goes to the library a lot. We were talking about books the other Lexi's day. Lexi's a reader. She She's loves a reader. To read. Okay. I always we ask were talking her. about it. And she's like, I was giving her all these suggestions, and she's like, "Oh well, I'll just have to see what the Flower Mound Library has." And I was like, "You know, I probably should get a library card. It would save me a lot of money." Yeah, I True. got a Kindle, so I just, oh, I just like holding a book, and I know you're right. Turning yeah, the pages, I don't, and I don't like electronic and books. seeing yeah. the pages hurts diminish. Your eyes too. Mm -hmm. You feel so accomplished when you see the pages I go by. Do it. Like, yes, I, I read about six pages, and then I get to about page eight, and I'm like. Wait a minute! I got to go back and read the last four because I get distracted. No. My mind wanders. I'm like, I don't even know what I read. Yeah. I love reading. Murder mysteries. We're starting a DCC book club. Can share out of me to that. Yeah. You are. Yes. Yay. I T love it. Tell me about th what is this? Well, we have a book club. We don't yeah. know yet. Started. started. She's starting. She's starting it. Yeah. Can share is going to start it. What's well, it going to? Well, tell me what it is. We all put down though. like a book that we like all want to read, uh -huh. and then I think it's oh, it's coming next week. I think she said like the first Tuesday of every month. Uh huh. Uh, we'll all get together and like talk about our books and then like swap books. Well, she'll be here today, so we'll have to ask her. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then it, so everybody, you swap books mm -hmm. and then you read, again. read it and then mm -hmm. you talk like, about it. Yeah, like then, every month. How many people are in this book club? There's a good handful. Really? I don't know. I would say, are you in it? I was going to say, I don't think I'm in it yet. Oh. <laughs> I've heard of it. Ooh, Shafted. I have not have responded to the... I wouldn't. Know, maybe. I wouldn't be. But in. I'll tell her to put me in there. I love. Books. I'm not a reader. I love to read. Yeah, My I goal this year is to read at least one book a month. Really? That's Ooh, impressive. Ooh, that's good. The book club will keep you. What's your favorite though, book, Courtney? Picture books. Favorite? Courtney? No, not picture book. I don't know favorite book. I mean, obviously, love Harry Potter. Tim Spirit, Tebow uh, autobiography. Yeah, Unshaken. I actually haven't read it, but, but I'm currently reading Where'd You Go, Bernadette. Okay. It's very good. Everybody should read it. It's being made into a movie and it comes out next month. So I wanted to finish the book before the movie came out. Oh, you know what? Smart. This is kind of lame, but, mm -hmm. or others, some people might not think it's lame, but I love the Twilight series. Oh, that was my really? middle was school. So thing. Good. I, I read, read all, all of them. them. Oh, I really did. All middle of them. And then when I saw the movie, I was like that nerd that was in the movie theater. I was like, that's not how it was in the book. <laughs> this is not <laughs> right. Like we're trying to enjoy this. Like ones that didn't read it. I'm like, were you team Sorry. Edward or Jacob? Come on. Do you know Christian? What? I'm just kidding. Do you know Christian Lautner? I, it changed, kind of. Taylor Lautner. Yeah, that guy. Christian so Lautner. Christian Lautner? Yeah. Honestly, when you I was said that, Jacob, I, I, he's hot. Yeah, Jacob's Jacob's cute, but Edward's kind of got that cool guy vibe. You know? mm, are you into the cool guy vibe? <laughs> are you into vampires? Cool. Yes. Okay, when you first said that, I was I thought Vampire Diaries. Have you seen I, that? Oh, I that's never, so good. I'm not Girl, into vampire so shows. Good. Never well, seen any of them. I wasn't, one. and I actually started it in August. So when you said that, I automatically thought uh, Stefan or Damon. So that's oh. why I was like, come on. But then I was... I don't know. She, we weren't talking about the same thing. But who's Stefan? Who, who are you? Their brother. Stefan or Damon? Their brother Damon. vampire. Damon. Ian Summerholder. I have to see what they look like. I'm totally this is Vampire cool. Diaries? I don't even know. You don't watch know. the Vampire Diaries? No, I don't watch any of that. <laughs> so Twilight good. or any of that. I mean, I, I used to go to Twilight the years. midnight premieres with my friends. I did for too. Twilight. It was so good. I did too. Really? There'd be a whole line and then the people would be in their shirts. Lines. People would be yeah. dressed up. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. School night times. and all. People did Literally not on a school night, I'd be like, Mom, can I please go to the premiere? I was just exhausted. You guys watch Parks and Rec? Sometimes. Once in a while. So I just like decided to binge it from start to end. And there's an episode all about uh, Twilight. And it's so funny. Ooh, you send should it to watch me. it. They're, they're, because it's all about, you know, Pawnee, this small town in Indiana. And they're putting, they're putting together a time capsule. Mm -hmm. And this guy is hell bent on putting a copy of Twilight into the time capsule. <laughs> so the whole episode is about Twilight and people are like hating on it, but then they also start loving on it. And it's just, oh, it's fun. really, it was really funny. You should watch it. Okay, done. So my Taylor Lautner story that you had to correct me. Taylor Lautner. Well, yeah, you had to get yeah. it right. I have been in love with him since She Revived the Dozen 2. He was at training oh, camp Oh, he was year. in that. 
Oh, wasn't it last year? Was he really? Yeah, it was. Well, this past season. So, no, I yeah. thought it was the year before. I thought it was this year. Two years ago. I don't know. He anyway, hasn't been in a movie in a while. Anyway, yeah. last Shark Boy and Lava Girl. This year or last Valentine's year, Day. he was <laughs> he was literally standing, and no one even knew who he was. Oh, oh I know I who he known. is. I would have known who he was. Yeah. Like I knew who he was, but it didn't it didn't really look like him. And I think he had a like a ball cap on. Oh. But it like he just looked like a normal person standing like out with, yeah, and like no one was bothering him. And I was like, wait a minute, that guy. No one's bothering it's Christian that can't, Lautner. That can't, yeah, Christian <laughs> Lautner. No one can be can't be him because no one's bothering him. But it was him. He's wow. so cute. Yeah, I don't. Oh, know. I would have known. I don't know if he's a fan or not, or if he was just out there. Courtney and I would have been like, hey. I would have known immediately. Hey. Excuse me. You know, hey, like what? Hey, Christian. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like looking over his shoulder. Who's Christian? Oh God, he's so cute. Oh my back! See y'all keep cutting me off. Back to my shark story. Okay. The library. So when I was went a, off. When I was a kid, my grandfather used to keep me. I never went to. Uh, I didn't go to daycare because he he had, he was disabled. So he would take me to the library, and I checked out every shark and dinosaur book there was. Wow. You love dinosaurs too. Yes. I'm a freak. There's a. I love dinosaurs. There's a, once we're. D I N O. Yes. Jurassic Park van. Jurassic yes. World. Jurassic, Jurassic World was pretty oh. awesome. It was amazing. And yeah. they're doing another one. I know. Is that I the heard. one with Chris Pratt? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I did like that one. So I, I would one. check. That's all That's all I would check out. And I would check them out. I would check. I think we could check out four books at a time. So I would check out four. I'd take them back. And I would go through all the shark books, all the dinosaur books. And then I'd start over. Like I was obsessed. So wow. All, that's all, dedication. That's a running joke with all my friends. They buy me like dinosaurs and sharks for like my birthday and like gag gifts. So stuff. does my dad. Yeah. My does dad, he really? My mom and dad put little dinosaurs in my stocking every year. Do you have the dinosaur succulents? No. You should oh. get those. But I need them. They're like super trendy these wow. days. What are they? They're all like different dinosaurs that are basically like pots that have succulents in them. What are those called? Is it like a chia pet? No. Pull it up. It's not a chia <laughs> pet. Pull it up. I want to they see have it. fake ones at Target, but like you can go and buy real ones. I have a shark one. Wow. I have a shark I onesie. Wow. I do. Wow. I don't own anything. You know what? One of the CMT, uh, Andrew, mm -hmm. he, his brother, I think they, they have had like the premiere at his theater and he knew I loved dinosaurs. So he brought back a Jurassic World shirt from the premiere. Oh, oh, really? oh cool. like cool. there's a succulent in, in the, the dinosaur. dinosaur. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's, cute. that's cute. That is cute. Now I know what to get you for your birthday. There you go. Okay, yeah. here's my library fun fact. At school, we would we had a library. Well, every school has a library, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> so whenever we would go to library, it would be like a bloodbath as to who would get the I Spy books. Oh yeah, so I that's what I would go nuts oh, over yeah. was yeah. the I Spy books. How old were you when when was this? Oh, elementary school for sure. I spy, but I don't even know what those are. Can we talk about I spy? The book there? Like it's, you know, like like a giant picture book, double yeah. pages, and then it's all those just a hodgepodge of things on it, and then there's the list of the bottom of the things that you have. Oh uh, yeah, 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 like a yeah. room, and it's got like shovel and those. plant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, Should we go? I would one? enjoy it. <laughs> oh, we, it was a bloodbath. I'll bring that to the book club. Okay, did y'all <laughs> have book fairs? Book. Yes. yes, and they'd have all the little knickknacks, and your parents would mm -hmm. send you with money. I'd be like, "Can I have twenty dollars?" Yeah, and I'd get no pencils, books, erasers. no books. <laughs> yeah, all the cool like little pencil bags. There was cool uh, erasers that were shaped like everything yes. under the sun. I have vivid yeah. marks yeah. of this. And where are you? Classic book fair. Where are you from, Alexis? Here. From here. Where here? North of Janelle's. <laughs> I was like here. Uh, here. Right, right here. At the start. Here Frisco. could mean so many things in Dallas. I know. That's yeah. why Carrollton, I was like. Carrollton, Flower Mound. So North Richland Hills. Is that, is that where Amy lot. got married? Yeah. Oh, Colleyville. Colleyville. It's Colleyville. Like it's near literally it. down the street. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of far. Like I go two streets over and it's Colleyville. I, I still am learning the suburbs. I'm like, ah. oh, there's so many places here. I didn't yeah. realize when I moved here. It all runs together, too. Yeah. Everyone's like, I live in Dallas. And then I was like, no, you don't. You live. No, last night we were together. Right north. She uh, we were driving in the car and she i was trying to tell her to change the song and she was like i need to wait until i i i take we, this we exit. were on the freeway i didn't know where i was going and i was like it's we exit the toll what do you mean and i was like you're not from here well because it was like the 75 to the 635 to dnt it was just a I lot i was like i got you just turn it off oh the, the you used to sound like a little west coaster the 75 to the 635 yeah it was, it's what do you say here? You don't say that. You just say 635, yeah. 75. The two oh, things that mess you up so when, when, you say the, when you first the, move here. We say the toll. The two things that mess you up is uh -huh. every every major highway has two names. That's true. Like 
Woodall Rogers and 75 and 635 and LBJ, they're mm -hmm. they're the same. Yeah. And then every other city I've ever been to, streets intersect. They're built in like a, a grid. So yeah. like if you go, if this street goes north and south, eventually it's going to run into a street that goes east and west. Not in Dallas. No. Yeah. They curve and like this one, you may go 30 Dallas miles. You know, just a circle of streets. Yeah. 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 You know how many times I got lost? Oh, first nine I months I lived here. I still I, use I, my I, maps for like everything. It, I do too. Well, and then you like you've been scroll. here two and a half years. I know. I'm from here. And I, I don't even. I don't maps. even know how long <laughs> I had to keep my maps on to come to work. And it's in downtown. One road. <laughs> downtown. I I still use my maps. <clears throat> and if you look at the maps, like you just see loops of just highways and freeways, and it's so confusing. Like no idea. Yeah, absolutely no idea. No. Well, let's take a break, and when we come back, we're gonna find out if you're coming back for a third year. And if you're going to try to come back for a second year, on oh, these boots are made for talking. Essilor has been helping Cowboys fans see better since 1972 so they don't miss a moment on the field. Get glasses with Essilor's best vision, clarity, and protection with the Essilor Ultimate Lens Package. Three innovative technologies in one lens. For a limited time, you can double your lenses for free when you purchase the Essilor Ultimate Lens Package and get a second pair of frames. Find a participating eye care professional and details by visiting EssilorUSA.com. That's EssilorUSA.com. Terms and conditions apply. If you're like me and you love... I mean, if you have a... Fight. ...thing, then cutting the cord is scary. But then I found out I could switch to DirecTV now and still get the live sports I love. No satellite needed, no bulky hardware, no annual contract. Just... Get the live sports you love. Try DirecTV now for $10 a month for three months. Visit DirecTVnow.com. DirecTV Now. More for your thing. That's our thing. Use code REALDEAL. Limited time. Price for a little, little package. After three months, we use monthly at full price. Currently minimum $40 unless canceled. Prices may change. New subscribers only. Cancel any time. Content varies by package and may be limited. Restrictions apply. A man's Stetson doesn't just protect him from life's elements. It projects an unstoppable and legendary spirit, just like the men wearing silver and navy on the field every Sunday. Since 1865, Stetson hats are American-made with pride right here in Texas. They are still the official crown of all self-respecting cowboys. And Stetson is proud to be on the field with America's team. Find Stetson hats in the pro shop or at Stetson.com today. Dr. Pepper is the one you crave. But how do you explain that craving? Imagine being shipwrecked on a desert island, alone. Glass-like curls of surf pound the shore with Dr. Pepper-colored waves. Surrounded by desire, but you can't drink it because it's the ocean. The fish live in there. The only thing you want is Dr. Pepper, and you can't have it. Now that is a Dr. Pepper craving. Dr. Pepper, the one you crave. Back to these boots are made for talking. No. Oh. <laughs> Snowing. Back. These boots are made for talking. Gabby and Alexis hey. and Courtney hey. and William behind the wall. It's Shannon talking right now. And me talking right now. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? Yeah, there we go. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so we're back. And you guys, that's the question. Are you going to come back and re-audition? Dun, oh. dun, dun. Drum roll. Who wants to go first? I think Alexis. Alexis, dun, dun, you go dun, first. Duh. Yeah, duh. that's a yes. Duh. All right. Yes, so coming back, going to re-audition for year three. Re-audition for year three. What made you decide to come back? You just, what? Because I love it. Why not? Yeah. I'm not ready to quit yet. Not ready to quit yet? No. Okay, that's a good I'm, enough I'm reason. I'm having a blast, so. Good. Keep All right. Going. Gabs. And I'm coming back as well. Yay! Yay! So what made you want to come back? I love it. Yeah. It's a lot of work, but it's so worth it at the end of the day. And I mean, your time here is limited. And so you just kind of try it's and soak up. It's a lifetime up. experience. Yeah. Yeah. And so. Gotta enjoy yeah. it. Do you yeah. see yourself staying in Texas once your DCC Ooh, this is a good one. Wow. Oh. We're diving deep. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, you just said it's so cold at home. It doesn't it seem is. like you're dying to go back there. So I'm gonna say it's 26 I, degrees in Chicago. 26? It, wow. 26 right now. It's, okay, but it's freezing in Dallas today. It's 35. Though. It's, yeah. it's 35, right? Like, really? Yeah, 9 degrees. It's not that much better here right yeah, now. It's, but it was the other day. But yeah. uh, my whole family's in Texas, or not in Texas, in Chicago. So I think maybe eventually. I don't know. We'll see where the future takes me and where jobs take me mm -hmm. and all of that. But literally my whole family's 
in Chicago. I've never been to Chicago. It's fun. Oh my goodness. It's it's one of the best cities in the country. I'm going back in a couple weeks to visit my cousin that just had her baby. Aw, congrats. Boy or girl? Girl. Ella. Ella, Ella, that's cute. That's a that's cool so name. Cute. Little Ella. Yeah. I really want to go back to Chicago. I've only been when I was little. We Let's went. go visit her. Okay, I'll okay. okay. stay so. at my parents' place. Uh, okay. They're going to be like, what? <laughs> they're listening hey, and they're like, and Dad. I can't. <laughs> but yeah, come stay with me. The only time I was there was to go to the American Girl Experience. I oh. I went to that. and Like right when it opened. Fun, it, was, it was lit. Uh, fun fact. <laughs> it, was lit. It, was lit. it was lit. The American Girl place there is huge. Huge. But yeah. fun fact, I my brothers actually scared me away from American Girl dolls. Why? They told me they would come to life at night and like That's just me. rude. Isn't that so mean? Because I had two older mean. brothers and so like How old I was, were you? Uh I was last year. Four. I was like, Yeah, last year. <laughs> so Did they make you watch Chucky? <laughs> No, but they told me it could be like Chucky. Oh, no. And then they just. No! Yeah, and you know how, like, the eyes blink on its own? Like, it was just. When you move them. My mom was so upset because she was like, she loves oh, She these probably dolls. wanted to buy you them, right? I had them, but oh. when I had them, they scared me. So then I made her put them. Who did away. you have? I had Kit. I had Kit too. I had a My little. Had I had a look alike one, and I had little bangs too. when I was younger, too. And so one looked like me, and then another was a little beanie baby. I need to see a picture with bangs. With bangs. Okay. My hair was like all the way down. My Did back. you have glasses too? I'm just picturing glasses. No, no uh, glasses. Fail. But <laughs> fail. Yeah. I had bangs too. Bangs. Never 90s were bangs. for bangs, I guess. Never you know? had bangs. The bangs were big. They were. Bangs mm. were big in the 90s. You ever had bangs, Courtney? Never had bangs except for in like middle school and the beginning of high school when side bangs were all the. I was just saying, you better believe bangs. I took the kitchen shears and I was just like, <laughs> Demi Lovato started that. I was it like, was bad. So cool. Side bangs. Side, side bangs. bangs. It was so bad. It's just like the little. Like literally, yeah. I was, and it, I didn't even angle them. I was just like, <laughs> you cut them yourself? Oh yeah. Oh no, Court. You well, never cut well, your own hair. No. Just my side bangs. I think I had like gotten this done and then I might have had a mistake when I was younger. (laughs) But I don't think I've cut my own hair. I don't think so. No, I never did it as like a little tiny kid. My youngest sister did that. Oh, damn. Golden curls all over the bathroom floor. I think my twin sisters did at some point. Wait, you have twin sisters? Yeah. Older or younger? Uh, Younger. They're both, they just turned 19 last week. Really? Yep. Both so I know they're like the most beautiful family. They're so yeah, it's yep. annoying. Yeah. Thank y'all. You're sweet. Yeah, they're they're gorgeous. They're so pretty. It's gross. <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> gross. Do yeah. they have they're any really pretty. aspirations? Do they dance? They do. Both of them dance. Um, the blonde one, Mackenzie. She yeah. One of them's blonde. Literally and, like. And the other blonde. one's dark headed. Yeah. Wow. My, da- my dad has blonde hair. Okay. Um, and then the other one looks like me. But um, yeah, just both, like Alexis. They both grew up dancing. Yeah, it's one weird. looks like the blonde version of Alexis. Yeah, because people say when you actually like are around us more, people say that Mackenzie, the blonde, looks like me, just with blonde hair. She does. And that Morgan's features are different. But people just say, "Oh, you look like Morgan," because we both have brown hair and light eyes. But, anyways, Mackenzie danced, but she's <clears throat> she's probably gonna she goes to college at um, Tarrant County College, and she's gonna go do the sorority thing. Okay. Um. At at a big university next year, but Morgan is at SFA right now on the Palm Squad. Oh. She wants to try out for DCC. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, maybe next does. year. Maybe we'll see. Well, no, she she's had to graduate. Ready. Well, I think she's she might transfer. Really? Mm. I don't know. Well, I don't think I could finish. do. Well, not that I ever have done DCC, but I don't think I could do it in college. You did for a little bit. I yeah, me I did. I couldn't. No. Yeah, honestly, I was and I was in a sorority. No. That's you. a lot. Yeah, I, I could not do all of that. I felt like my Just college gotta... dance team was a lot in college, so I don't know how you did DCC and full time student. You know, I don't either. But, but, I, <laughs> but you did. But I did it <laughs> successfully. But yeah, it. she's she's very very talented and beautiful. So I'm like, so there. Do it, girl. So you're saying there might be a chance in the next few years of you, you being on the squad with your sister? I don't know. We'll and, see. And possibly, dun, 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 dun. did his Gina's sister counted it out? Or is that I don't know. Thought? That'd be cool, too. Gina's it would be cool. cute. TCU showgirl. We oh, really? We have some talented sisters too. on this team. Oh, yeah. 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 The last, what are the last sisters? Were the Trevino sisters the last ones? No, Ashton and Alyssa. Torres. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It does happen every once in a while. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That'd be cool. We're five so years cool. apart, so. Yeah. I don't know how That's old, crazy. I don't know how far apart Ashton and Alyssa are. I don't know. I don't know. Probably. Or Crystal and Trisha. We saw Crystal the other day. Yeah. Church. She goes to our Did church. Did you? Oh, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. 
Very cool. So, pinky ring parties next week, right? <gasps> Yay, tell finally. Us, tell us what the pinky ring party is. And it's at, where is it at? Diamonds Direct. Diamonds Direct. Shout, Shout out. out. Shout out, Thanks Diamonds Direct. Thanks for our beautiful Direct. rings. Yeah, tell us. Soon to be ring. Tell us about the uh, what the pinky ring party is and what y'all do there. Do you want to? Uh, so it's like we they all have the pinky rings. It uh -huh. symbolizes our sisterhood and completing a season with the DCC. Okay. And so clearly the rookies don't have them yet, and so I got to earn your. Pinky you got to earn the pinky <laughs> ring. So. Honestly, like looking at all the vets all the time, I'm like, they all has, they all have their pinky rings. I'm like, I want one. Yeah. You kind of feel like you're like not, you're like you're like on the team, but like you're not on the team yet because you mm -hmm. don't have the ring yet. So this is where you're just getting sized at Diamonds Direct, and it's a nice party for all of us and just to celebrate the completion of our rookie season. And Kelly and Judy make it really special. They, you know, they sit down in the corner and they go by each one of us and. Mm -hmm. You sit down with them and you get sized and they do it themselves. And oh, really? Yeah. That's really cool. They have the little yeah. ring sizes and I have. I would pay money to see that. Them sizing people's rings. That would have yeah. actually be fun to go watch Kelly and Judy do that. It's fun. I have a picture. Until they get stuck, <laughs> right? <laughs> so if you're obviously if you're coming back for another season, mm -hmm. you're still, I guess, in kind of entrenched in the contract. Well, in, in classes. And mm -hmm. you're still kind of in the mix, but mm -hmm. there's other people that have kind of moved on and go chase their careers or move or do whatever. Do they come back to get their pinky rings or are they kind of done? Or is it just mainly people that are still around? How does that work? No, you no, get I, it at I, the I, completion of your rookie season. Yeah, everyone gets so everyone it. Has everyone has it. Unless you, yeah, if Quit you finish before your, then. Yeah. When's, when's into your banquet? May or April, April normally. April, I think. It's in April, yeah. It's in April, yeah. So April. Okay, so this yeah. is before end of year banquet. So this mm -hmm. is basically before everybody kind of moves on or whatever. But right. if you move, like, the end of the season obviously was December or January because mm -hmm. we had a playoff game. Mm -hmm. Their contracts but, are May to May. So if you yeah. last okay, May okay. to May. That yeah. We're required to go to Technique Tuesday. Yeah. Okay. So you have to be there every Tuesday. Okay, that answers my question. Yeah. Okay. All right, but it's cool. exciting. It is. Very, very I'm so excited. You get size, and then they hand them out at banquet. Will that be before or after calendar this year? Because I remember two years ago, all the rookies were so upset because they didn't have their oh, rings yeah. for calendar oh. shoot. Um, it's before calendar, I think. I'm pretty sure right? it's before. Yeah, right so before you get calendar. It. So you get to be in my planner. Your hair when are on the beach. When are auditions this year? May 18th, I think, is the first day. And then it's like the... It's the last weekend of May. Okay, so it's later this year. Well, that's finals. Yeah, it's that's finals for us. May 18th oh, yeah. and 19th, and then 31st and June 1st. Are the finals? Yeah, 31st and 1st. 31st Have you started working finals. on your solos? I know who's choreographing it. Who, who's going to choreograph it? Can you say that? Kashira. Oh, cool. She's doing both of ours. Really? Yeah. yeah. Shout Ooh, out, Cash. Pressure. And then uh, I've picked out my song. Have you picked out yours yet? Not yet. Kashira keeps sending me songs, so we're, <laughs> we're going to figure it out together. Suggestions. But. Yeah, I you, always do it's kind exciting. of a spicy jazz, so that's always spicy my vibe. Jazz. Spicy jazz. What about yeah. you? What style are you going to do? Do it, you know? It, yeah, it's more jazzy. Jazzy? Sassy jazz, spicy say, jazz. Yeah. yeah. Both I'm like excited. That style. Yeah. Oh. I need someone to do a lyrical to Shallow. Oh, I, can, oh. I don't want to spoil oh, it, but wait, someone no. is. Oh! oh. 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 Shallow, hey. but it's from the movie. Oh, oh, another song? It's from the movie. It's a good song, though. Wait, You'll like it. which one is it? Or I thought it was the I'll never love again. All right, we're gonna oh, yeah. we're right. gonna find out. We're gonna talk about this yeah. off, off air. air. Okay. We're gonna take a quick I break. Have, I have a good guess as to who, but I'm not gonna spoil it. You off, can guess on, off here on air. All right, we're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back on these boots and ready for talking. Yay. If you're like me and you love, I mean, if you have a Fight. thing, then cutting the cord is scary. But then I found out I could switch to Directv now and still get the live sports I love. No satellite needed. No bulky hardware. No annual contract. Just. Get the live sports you love. Try DirecTV now for $10 a month for three months. Visit DirecTVNow.com. DirecTV Now. More for your thing. That's our thing. Use code Real Deal. Limited time. Price for a little, little package. After three months, renews monthly at full price. Currently minimum $40 and less canceled. Prices may change. New subscribers only. Cancel any time. Content varies by package and may be limited. Restrictions apply. Before your next AT&T Stadium barbecue, gear up with OtterBox, the official outfitter of tailgating. It starts with the Venture Cooler. Built tough in America, Venture keeps ice for days and days. Or stay light on your feet with Trooper 
super soft coolers, perfect for packing in your signature side dishes. Tailgating wouldn't be complete without a beverage, so pour one into the OtterBox Elevation Tumbler. It keeps your drinks frosty and toasty. Discover more about OtterBox line of tailgate essentials at otterbox.com. While a player can look good on paper, it's when he's out on the field that you really find out what he's made of. That's why the Cowboys rely on more than stats and scouting reports when building their team. When picking a tractor, it's why you should rely on more than specs and features as well. you got to take it out and put it to the test. The Cowboys did when they named John Deere their official tractor. To experience one for yourself, visit your local Texas John Deere dealer or go to myjohndeerdealer.com slash football. It can be hard to find the right resource for learning about important financial matters. You search how to build savings, you end up reading about the one weird ingredient from supermarkets that can make you taller. That's why Bank of America built BetterMoneyHabits.com, a safe little corner of the internet for answering your financial questions. Full of simple videos and tips, Better Money Habits can show you how to make the most of your money without resorting to random searches that always seem to lead to unbelievable photos of childhood stars grown up. To learn more, visit BetterMoneyHabits.com. Essilor has been helping Cowboys fans see better since 1972 so they don't miss a moment on the field. Get glasses with Essilor's best vision, clarity, and protection with the Essilor Ultimate Lens Package. Three innovative technologies in one lens. For a limited time, you can double your lenses for free when you purchase the Essilor Ultimate lens package and get a second pair of frames. Find a participating eye care professional and details by visiting EssilorUSA.com. That's EssilorUSA.com. Terms and conditions apply. Back to These Boots Are Made For Talking. Oh, God. We're back for the last five or six minutes. We got to get out of here early because they have a very important draft show from the Combine Woo-hoo. in Indianapolis. And before we get to Yay. Courtney's Corner, some big news happened in Cowboy World today. Jason Witten coming yeah. back to the Cowboys. The goat is back, baby. So excited. He's back. That's so cute. Gabby hasn't had a season cheering on Jason. You have not. You have not. Haven't. You have not. Ah. Yeah, he like announced that he was retiring like right when I was auditioning. Ah, so who's your favorite current player, Gabby? Can I say Jason Witten now? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he was, yes, he was mine uh, last year. Okay, yeah, let's. But he's not. He was my favorite former. So okay, now I just can't. Let's now say I can't choose. besides Jason Witten, who's your favorite player? Okay, current. Oh. Alexis, we'll you want to go with Cole Beasley? First? Cole Beasley. Okay, Cole Beasley. Bees Drop that the mix tape. Drop Bees the mixtape. Yep. Yeah, eighty stings. I'd probably say eighty eight stings. I love when they play the um, they do the feed me, feed me. They do that song at the game. Oh yeah, feed me. Yeah. Whenever he makes a really good play, and we'll we do our we we always have a dance we do. Yeah, I like when Cole makes a big play too. Bees in the trap. Yeah. Bees. Mm -hmm. Who's your favorite? And then Lane Vander's the oh. Yeah. Ma, God, no. You don't even know anybody that's on the team. No. Been here two and a half years. (laughs) Doesn't know know anybody. No. Yank, 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 yank. There's no Gators, so there's no I, all, I would always either. just. That's say, right. You're a Giants fan. Never mind. I would always just say Emmett. You know, I could cheer for Emmett. I mean, I, the guys are all nice. You know, let's go Dak. He's a nice guy. Okay. Yeah, you're yeah. you're a fake fan. Jason, I never have claimed to, to be a fan. Who's your favorite DCC? Uh, hey. Oh. Hey. Hey. I can't, I can't <laughs> out him like this. <laughs> I can't out him. At Gabby. Okay. <laughs> At Gabby. Luis. <laughs> before, before Courtney's Luis. Corner, prep classes. This week yes. is Christy Scales for Football 101. Yes. So if you want to know information on the test part of auditions and your auditioning, which is about, what, 15 or 20% of their total grade, I think, is... is, uh, is I don't uh, know. Honestly, I don't, I don't know. Interview? Percentage, but... It, it is an intense. I don't know if it's, it's like an exact intense. science. I think it's more of like, oh, God, if this girl doesn't know anything about football, like. Oh. I just made that number up. I was but it's important. And knew. it's hard. There's about 100 There's, questions yeah. on the test. And Christy's awesome. She knows a lot of Christy stuff. Christy knows she's everything. So awesome. yes. She's so sweet. So too. come and take nice. notes. So there. Plus, plus she's, she's a judge. So get your she face is. in front That's of right. the judge. That's right. Get some face time with Christy Scales. Get your face she's in front of the judge. And when is that? When is When is prep class? Friday nights. Friday. 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 Saturday mornings. Star Sometimes we have Frisco. Saturday mornings as well. Mm-hmm. Do y'all still go to prep classes? Sometimes or, we yeah. want to dance. I went to one the other week. We so. assist mm-hmm. some of them too. Yeah. I assisted Mia's a couple weeks ago. Oh, cool. Awesome class. Mia! Yeah. She got a baby, right? She does. Yeah. She's precious. Her name's Elle. Yeah. Oh. She's so cute. I follow her on Instagram. 
just yeah, beautiful. She's awesome. Perfect little fam. Oh, oh it made me sick. So it's fun. All the all the alumni that we looked up to are all growing up or have well, babies. Yeah, but they came back for um, a, Je- kid, a kids camp when show group was in uh, where, where show group went know. somewhere. They went a couple places this summer, but they weren't here. And they came back and did the camp with us, and it was so much fun hearing all their stories. I think I remember that. It was yeah, it was Cassie, Cassie and was there. Lauren Oliver, and all of them. That's so it was fun. That's so back. Fun. That, that's back whenever I was in the mix. Really? That's back whenever I was like, you were at. The, you were at the judging table. I was the, I was the cool guy. <laughs> like now, I've gotten too old and. Uh, I can't relate anymore. High school drill team? I did. You did? All four years. Well, Kennedy wants to know any tips on kicks or making your high school drill team. Oh, Oh, cool. I know that they do little prep classes for drill teams, too. So I would say go to prep classes, stay in technique classes. Um, And when it comes to kicking, I would just stretch as much as you can. Oh, I got to start stretching. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Everybody knows. Last but, podcast. I know. I blew it. You uh, were supposed to have your splits, splits. I and he was going to oh, show us one. at the next podcast. I, I can't do it. You haven't been stretching. Have I you? have not. I totally forgot. Whatever. About it. I'm gonna start. I'm going to the gym today after work, and I will sh- stretch after I work out. All right. I'll begin stretching today. I'll give you one more chance. One more chance. Okay. I All won't right. tell Christina. Hello. Don't. Unless she's watching this. No. She'll she's, be very angry. Christina, I'm sorry. <laughs> Christina actually came on the show and called me out. Was that last week or week before last for not? Oh, recently. that's funny. Yeah. Well, so. I'll tell her the it happened again. Yeah. Okay. We have again. an appearance Fail. with her tonight, so oh. yeah. we'll tell I'll her. have to let her know. <laughs> no, don't don't tell on me. All right, Courtney, what else we got? There weren't like a, a ton minute. of questions. You have, a minute. you have one minute. Oh, one God. Tick tock, tick tock. Tick tock on the clock. Yeah, there weren't like a ton. You guys just got a lot of I love yous. Oh, and love you. they love your snakeskin booties in the picture that she I posted. She got so many. So where are those from? Let the people the know. They're so cute. fun fact. They're Caroline's shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the credit for them. Yeah. But um, I actually was with her when she bought them. They're from Nordstrom. They're Steve cute. Madden. They're really cute. It's funny because everyone, recommend. when I brought her to my church, the first thing she said was, she's like, why is everyone so trendy? Everyone is so like, trendy. Like, everyone dresses so cute. And so we were like, yeah. this Sunday, we're going to be on our A game. We're mm-hmm. going to wear cute outfits. And we're going to. Well, you got to look good for yeah. your baptism. Yeah. 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 It was her baptism day. I had yeah. to look nice. You, you know? got to show up. Or mm-hmm. We get there, though, and everyone's like, where'd you get your booties? Where'd you get your booties? I was like. Mm-hmm. Literally, the only I time I ever get compliments on my clothes is when they're not mine. Like right. When I'm that wearing always other happens. Stuff. I'm Change like, that, that style up, Courtney. Always happens. Uh, yeah, or get less, get right less cool friends. I'm wearing her shirt right now. I have. Caroline's closet. You're wearing my through. you're wearing my earrings. Yeah, I forgot my earrings. So All right, I have a, I have a question since there's not very many Courtney's corner questions not to, a time. to close out the show. Okay. All right, this is for each one of you. Okay. Um, what is your long term goal in life? Wow. Yes. Yeah, so that's deep. It doesn't that have to be deep. too deep. Wow. Just like what do you, what do you career wise? It can be anything. Okay. Like what do you want to do career wise, or what do you want to do? Just like a life goal. Yeah, impact the community, or like what is your like what do you what do you What's your stamp? Once you leave DCC and you become an adult, like, what do you want? Where do you want to be? Okay. Once I leave DCC, Mm because this is obviously a huge life goal, Mm -hmm. um, I would say have a successful career that I enjoy going, waking up and going to every day, and then Mm -hmm. also having a family. I want to get married. Those are good goals. Good goal. Yeah. Good goals. Um, For me, I... Um, I was a broadcast journalism major, so okay. I want to pursue that more when okay. I leave here. Um, and I also volunteer now, so just keep volunteering throughout my time, no matter where I'm at. So, yeah. Wow, your guys' goals are nice. Mine. What's your goal? <laughs> well, the first thing that would pop in my head, like the only like deadline goal I have is all 50 states before I'm 50. Ooh, that's that's fun. a good goal. I'm at 23. That's wow. that's pretty I need to count impressive. Yeah. Twenty three. I don't know how twenty three two either. I need to count my two. I haven't been anywhere up north. Really? You should come nope. to Chicago. My dad's from me. Minnesota. Have over there. it's all over. Go go during the go during the summer. Summer, summer. right? So, yeah, oh. I've heard. Taste of Chicago. But I have so many friends. Like Savannah's from New York and you're from Chicago. Like, we can't compare yourself to Savannah. She's too worldly for the rest of She's us. She's so cool. You should do that. You should so cool. make it a goal to be like, hey, everybody that lives north of I don't know. Dixon. Yeah, Mason. Missouri. I'm gonna go hang out with. Yeah, for, Missouri's yeah. really north. That's a state I haven't been to. Is it? No, Missouri. I was just there Missouri. yesterday. 
Yep. The first time I visited Missouri is actually with Caroline in Columbia. Yeah. Columbia. Mm -hmm. Columbia. All right. Well, we got to get out of here, unfortunately. We have to leave because they have to do draft stuff. Uh, Stay tuned, everybody. Stay tuned. Well, thanks for having me. Thank you all for coming on. Thank you for having us. It sounds like hopefully we will have you guys on again in the near future since you're both coming back. back. Courtney, thank you. You're so welcome. Gabby, thanks. Thank you. Alexis, thanks. William, thank you. And we will be back, I guess, next week. Do we know who's next week yet? Yes. I remember it's Miranda. Ooh, Miranda and Hannah. Oh, that'll be fun. Hannah's first time. Tall girls. Yeah, Hannah hadn't been on yet. Tall girls. Tall girls. Ooh, a new one. A new one. All right. Join us next Thursday. Are we changing the time yet, or is it still 4 o'clock? Well, I'm going to ask on Tuesday. We might change to 1 o'clock. At some point, we're doing that. Or sometime earlier. We don't know when, but... Four o'clock for now. Check the website for the schedule. We'll be back next Thursday at some to be determined time. On these boots are made for talking. This has been a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this, Cowboys? Yeah!